What's up, Aquarius, and welcome to my channel. I hope all of my beautiful and my powerful Aquarius out there are doing well. So, Aquarius, before we get started, you guys, I will be posting videos here, but I also will be starting a Zodiac channel to where I'll be just be posting for Zodiac signs, okay? And that channel will be Blue Flame Zodiac Moon Goddess, okay? So, check that out toward the end of this month. I'll continue to tell you guys about it, okay, so that you can get your readings over there, okay? So we're going to go ahead and get into this message, you guys. If anything resonates, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, comment. Let Blue Flame know what's going on. And if you're interested in a personal, my email will be in the description box below, okay? All right, you guys, so we're going to do a Celtic cross. And this reading is going to be about the Eight of Pentacles, okay? So, of course, you can be dealing with a Virgo Taurus Capricorn or a Virgo in particular, it doesn't have to be, okay? With this Eight of Pentacles, it talks about hard work, dedication, and commitment. So there can be something right now, Aquarius, that you're working on, okay, that you really focus on. Now, this could be something that you're doing for your work, or this could be your energy that you're in because you're wanting love, okay? This talks about paying attention to details, working hard towards your goals. This also talks about that you could be ready to invest your energy, your time, okay, into a loving, healthy, lasting relationship, okay? If you're single, this could be for my Aquarius single. If you're single right now, message some of you guys, you can be in this energy to where you're ready to commit to the right person. So in the past, Aquarius, you could have committed your energy, you could have dedicated your time to the wrong person, okay? And maybe you've just been focused on your goals, you've been pouring into your work, okay? But at the same time, you still want love, but you want to give your heart you want to dedicate your time and energy to the right person okay all right so what is the situation here with the eight of pentacles messages for my aquarius if anything resonates don't forget to like this video okay messages for aquarius holy spirit what is the situation all right the situation is the knight of wands okay now some of you guys could be dealing with a fire sign doesn't have to be Aries, Leo, or Sag, okay? This could be a Cancer or a Leo. So the Knight of Wands talks about someone that can be hot and cold. You know what I'm saying? You don't really kind of know what you're going to get from this person. One day they love you. The next day they act like they don't care about you, okay? This is someone that could be in and out of your life, kind of like that playboy or that playgirl energy, okay? Now, this night is the fastest moving night in the deck, okay? So it's like as soon as this person comes in your life, it's just as quick as they're going to be leaving out your life, okay? Some of you guys are talking about a quick love affair or a situationship so some of you guys you could have been dealing with someone it was like someone you was very attracted to like there could have been good sex between you and this person but it was like fireworks sparks were showing off okay and i feel like this could have been someone that you dedicated your time your energy your love to okay and i feel like this was kind of like for some of you guys could have been like a a situationship or friends with benefits, okay? But whatever it was, this was a very fiery, a very hot, passionate relationship. I feel like things may have not worked out with this person because they were very hot and cold. They were in and out of your life, okay? And you were looking for a commitment. You were looking for someone that you can dedicate your life, dedicate your heart to, okay? You didn't want to be with someone that's going to be in and out of your life. So I feel like a lot of you guys, you possibly walked away from this person, okay? You chose not to deal with this person. You just focus on yourself. You focus on your goals, okay? Look at this. Eight of Cups, as I'm saying it, okay? Some of you guys, you turned your back. You walked away because you realized this Knight of Wands, they didn't have anything to offer you, okay? Let's see if this Eight of Cups won't come out. All right, so what happened in the recent past with the Eight of Pentacles, Holy Spirit? Tell us more. What happened in the recent past with this Knight of Wands? Four of Wands. <sighs> Some of you guys, we could be talking about your divine counterpart, Aquarius. I'm just going to go on and put it out there, okay, with this four of wands. But I feel like in the recent past, you guys, you were in this four of wands energy, okay? You guys, you were celebrating. You know what I'm saying? You were building or you were wanting to build this firm, secure foundation with someone. You were being proud of your achievements, proud of your goals, okay? Some of you guys, you even could have been married to someone. So this person that we're talking about, you either could have saw this person as marriage material or some of you guys, you could have been married to someone. Take it how it resonates. I feel like you were wanting to make a stable relationship with someone, okay? You wanted to commit with someone. You wanted to have this strong connection with someone. And I feel like you did. You had a strong 
attraction, but I don't feel like it was a strong connection, okay? I feel like you were looking for more with this person that was hot and cold, that was in and out of your life, okay? So I feel like in the recent past, you were looking for someone that you can dedicate yourself to, okay? And I feel like what you got was this Knight of Wands energy. So what is the problem, Holy Spirit? Messages for my Aquarius. What is the problem here? Messages for my Aquarius. I love you, Aquarius. All right, so the problem here is the page of swords, okay? I feel like for some of you guys, this was someone who was very immature. I feel like even if this person was older than you, even if this person was the same age as you, I feel like this person was very immature with their ways, with their actions, with their words, with their communication, but this is also someone that's watching you. So I feel like at this time, Aquarius, someone here is watching you. You know what I'm saying? They could be watching you celebrate. You know what I'm saying? You've been working hard. So this person's watching you achieve your goals, watching you celebrate. They're looking you up online, but this person's not coming towards you. You know what I'm saying? That's like they're, I feel like this person's trying to study you, maybe trying to gain more information about you, possibly before they come towards you. Tell us more about this page of scores, Holy Spirit. Messages for my Aquarius, Holy Spirit. Tell us more about the page of scores. Tell us more about this page of scores for our Aquarius. Mm. Okay, so Aquarius, you could be dealing with Aries, Leo, Sag, Aries in particular. We got Aries, Leo, and Sag, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. We got Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. And we got heavy fire energy, you guys. Okay, so I feel like this is a very passionate, like, you and this person could have had, lots of, like I say, lots of hot, passionate sex, okay? Lots of fire energy. I feel like for some of you guys, you have been waiting. Like, either this person is waiting on you, or you're waiting on this person, okay? This talks about a lot could be happening around this situation, and maybe that's why this person isn't coming towards you. They're just watching you. You know, this talks about... Um, this could be an online relationship for some of you guys, or maybe this is like a long distance relationship, okay? There could be like a whole body of water that separates you and this person, but it talks about there being a lot of distance in between you and this person, okay? I feel like also the problem is that the universe has been leading someone here, okay? Possibly that this person that you're dealing with, they have been leading this person, guiding this person to say goodbye to another situation, okay? So they can be involved in a marriage, a commitment, a relationship, something, okay? And this person here, this is why they were in and out of your life, okay? Because they were already involved in another situation, okay? So it was like they couldn't give you that time and that energy and the love and affection that you were needing, okay? They can just give you a little bit. And, they, and what they gave you is, well, is about all they had, okay? This I feel like this person here, the reason why they were in and out of your life, like I said, because they were dealing with someone else. But the universe having God and are trying to get this person to walk away from the third party or whoever they were dealing with, okay? But they could not do that. They felt like walking away from this third party where it was a marriage, someone they had kids with, whatever the situation was, they felt like that was going to be like the hardest thing for them to do, okay? And someone here wasn't ready to do that, okay? So they were just kind of hot and cold with you in and out of your life, okay? I feel like for some of you guys, if they were dealing with a third party, or if there was a third party involved, like if this person was on and off with this third party, when they were off with this person, this is you would hear from them, okay? And like when they were on with this person, this is when this person would ghost you. You wouldn't hear from this person for weeks or months at a time, okay? All right, Holy Spirit, let me get a little sip of water here, y'all. Okay, messages for my Aquarius, Holy Spirit. So what are gonna, what the hopes and fears are, Holy Spirit? Holy Spirit? What are the hopes and fears in this connection for my Aquarius? If anything is resonating for you guys, don't forget to like this video, okay? So what are the hopes and fears, Holy Spirit, in this connection for my Aquarius? What are the hopes and fears? Ooh. Okay, so the hopes and fears. Oh, wow, of course. So the whole, and this landed right here on the nine of wands. So whatever that you've been working on since you walked away from this person, okay, this is going to make you very successful, okay? And this person feels like that you guys are going to be in a spotlight, okay? You're going to be getting lots of recognition. People are going to be praising you, okay? Whatever you're doing, I feel like if you have a product that you're going to be selling or something, like it's going to be flying off the shelves, but you're going to be very successful. You're going to be getting that recognition. You're going to be getting lots of rewards, okay? And for some of you guys, you're going to even find a loving relationship, okay? Possible engagement here. Look, we got the 10 of wands. I can't make this up. The, this person fears 
that since you guys have walked away, since you are no longer communicating with them, that you're going to be in the spotlight. And while you're in the spotlight, shit, some of you guys, you can find some type of wealthy suitor. This can be a wealthy man or this can be a wealthy woman, okay? But this is someone that you and this person, you guys can come together and you can build this. You're going to be like this power couple. You guys are going to come together. They're going to be successful and you're going to be successful, Aquarius, okay? And you and someone new are going to come together, okay? Possibly get married because the Six of Wands also talks about engagement you and this person could get married okay you can have a very successful loving relationship okay and that's what this person fears okay so what's going to be the outcome here holy spirit what is going to be the outcome for aquarius messages for aquarius all right aquarius Ooh. so for some of you guys this person wants to come towards you but someone from their past, someone that they're dealing with, they're trying to sabotage this person from coming towards you. Okay, so every time this person tries to take a leap of faith, every time this person be like, all right, I'm going to go toward the quarters, somebody from their past comes through and sabotages this, okay? And I feel like some of you guys, you're tired of waiting. And that passion, that chemistry, that love, those feelings that you have for this person, that shit has fizzled out, okay? And for some of you guys, you're no longer having sex with this person as well, okay? Lots of fire energy, you guys. Okay, Aries, Leo, Sag, we got Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, Libra, Gemini, and Aquarius, okay? That's all we had. No love, okay? So I feel like whatever love, feelings, and emotions that you possibly have for this person, Aquarius, I feel like that shit is dead, okay? Because we got no water on this, on this cup, I mean, on this table here, okay? So I feel like there is no feelings and emotions left here, okay? Let's see what other signs we got here. Messages for my Aquarius. Who is this reading about? We got Sag, Scorpio, Gemini, Leo. We got Cancer, Heavy Cancer, Scorpio, and Gemini. And we also have Aquarius, Aries, Pisces, and Heavy Pisces, you guys, okay? All right, Aquarius, that's all I have. I love you guys. And until next time, stay blessed.